Bad Love with Pat's Two Cents. And Pat's Two Cents is going to follow God's Word right now. We're going to read from Ezekiel chapter 37. We're moving down further. And we're going to start reading from number, let's see, number four, verse number four. And then we'll read until I feel like God wants me to stop. All right. I hope this word encourages you. You really, 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 really need to be encouraged. Don't let things get you down. That's not what God wants. You hear me? I don't care what's going on in this world. In these last days, don't you let things get you down. Now, mother has spoken. Now, Mama Sita's getting ready to read. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. Woo! I'm going to stop right there. Listen, this is what we have to remember. What man has put asunder? What man has destroyed and torn down? God can put back together again and make it better than it was originally. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. No matter what happens in this country, no matter what happens or who ultimately becomes president, no matter what laws they turn against the people and what money games and schemes they play, no weapon formed against you or me will prosper. No matter what schemes they try, they don't have the power to put us in heaven or hell. And let me tell you, as painful as some of the things are that causes death, God can pull you out before the first sting of death hits your skin. You don't have to feel it. I just say this to encourage you. Stand for God and he will stand for you. Stand. When you've done all to stand, stand. Just keep on standing. If you have nothing to say, stand. Make a stand, baby. Because God is more than able. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Ask God for more power. Ask God to strengthen your faith and your resolve. You hear me? Don't you lose heart. God is very much in control. And don't you forget that. We serve a risen Savior. God is not a man that he should lie. Whatever he promises, he carries out. He's not, his arms ain't short. He doesn't, he's not a wimp. He's not a jelly back, as my friend used to say. God is more than able. 